has been deemed one of the hardest hit areas from this week's round of flooding. Historically, it's also one of the most underserved communities in the city. But tonight, residents say they finally have some hope. We have are continuing our team coverage tonight with News Force Melanie Johnson, who's been following the resources that arrived today. Melanie. The city setting up another mobile command center here on Norwood Avenue in North St. Louis. They are promising to give out bags of safety tools to help these residents and protect them from mold that is supposed to grow in the next couple of days because of the flooding. It's a symbol of care. Some of these people in North St. Louis did not expect. I mean that. I mean that. Okay. We got you. Tears falling down Tamara Hall's face as help arrives on her doorstep days after raging waters spilled through the basement windows flooding her home. It was scary. The water was coming up my porch steps. This is rough down here, buddy. The second round of rain making matters worse downstairs, according to her husband, Alan Jones. About $25,000 to replace this total basement. I've lost the washer, the dryer, the deep freezer. The air conditioning doesn't work. The hot water tank doesn't work. I'm told it out. You can still see how high the water oh, rose inside, barely missing the electrical box. Look at that. That's a plus. Look at that. I almost got to it. This will actually show what they would do for the north side. Gary Morris lives across the street. Disperse the funds equally to everybody. Right. Don't give this neighborhood 30 cents when you get everybody else a dollar seventy-five. His basement also flooded and destroyed. We need help too. St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones promising to give these homeowners an equal cut of relief money and aid. It's personal to me, um, again, because I'm born, raised, and live here. Over in North County, everyone living at the Reserve Winding Creek Apartments forced to move out after the flood. At least come over here and get water. At least come over here and see how these people that are homeless is doing. The complex sits in Congresswoman Cori Bush's district. The lawmaker saying Friday she is working to get them emergency housing. We're doing our best to connect them with a landlord that has space readily available so that they can move in so that people don't have to go to the hotels. They can go directly into an apartment. FEMA is still not here in St. Louis just yet. We are also waiting for the president to declare a disaster declaration. Officials tell me they hope that that would happen soon. In case someone needs emergency assistance, they're also asking people to go to the Urban League headquarters. They will connect you with the emergency shelter. Reporting live in North St. Louis, Melanie Johnson, News 4. Just really 